Hey, uh, Dusty and David St. Pierre back uh, after our back kip video. We're going to show you a little bit more uh, advanced gymnastic skill work. We're going to talk about a specific movement, an isometric hold called the planche, and developing and understanding what planche strength is, okay? Because I think it's got some really functional properties that are going to be great down the road for crossfitters. Cool. So check it out. This is what a planche looks like. We're going to go all the way up to a handstand, and I'm going to lower into it just because this is pretty hard. There. What we're going to do is we're going to take this, this, uh, this movement and exercise, break it down for you, and start to show you how you can develop some of this movement and strength. Obviously, talking about that functional movement of cueing the shoulder over the hands, more of an extension of sort of what we've been doing with the handstand push-up. Cool. So what we're doing today is understanding plant strength. We're going to hit a couple of movements to show you uh, good angles and cueing that awesome tight midline that we're we've been talking about oh so much, starting with a hollow body. Um, how the shoulder moves first and how we're gonna load this bad boy up and why it's so important to get in the right position for this thing. Otherwise, the system breaks down and we all fall apart. We don't ever wanna obviously break at the elbow now. We're, we're beginning to really lock and tighten down um, all the while really, really squeezing from toes to nose that we've been reviewing a ton of. All right, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is this elbow plank position and why it totally mimics what we're going to be doing in the planche position, how to cue body tension, and how this establishes good shoulder position. So Dave's gonna hop on down on the floor and we're just gonna get him in that sweet, old, cool, sort of army crawler position. And just stay relaxed, Dave, don't get all tight yet, okay? So typically, like, people are here. We got legs apart, we're kind of holding our position here. We're like, oh, we got a cue. We got to get tight. So for gymnastics, we're going to have Dave bring his feet together, squeeze his heels, tuck that, those, get that anterior pelvic tilt to so the butt's on. You see it all? Okay? He's, he's locked. He's actually breathing still because he's a super stud. But we got the shoulder over the elbow. And you see this now. And if we want to load that thing a little more, he can just rock forward on his toes just a little bit, right? Ooh, there we go. All right, now, if we want to... On, well, obviously, if we can develop this strength in this cue, we can take it up into a hand placement in a push-up position. So he's going to push up. And notice immediately, what we've got here is we've got a, a nice mimicking by rotating externally, to rotating the hands, okay? Which also helps to cue the hollow, okay? So eyelids are forward. And again, we can start to load that planche position by just rocking back and forth. Sick. All right. The angles match up nicely. Again, we're, we're, we're beginning to load the shoulder, okay? And as the feet approach to coming off the ground, it's, you know, we're going six to seven times your body weight uh, applied to that, you know, that specific joint. So it's pretty gnarly. This is getting into some advanced gymnastic movement. So we're back in the parallettes. And obviously not everybody has parallel bars and we, you know, I demoed the planche up there. We can do these down here and I think it's really important to show you guys drills that work here. Okay, Dave's working out of the cubit, so they aren't super wide for him. He's going to start in a tuck uh, support position, right? He's just going to hold. Good. Now as he lifts and tucks up, we call this uh, tuck ups, he's just going to roll up and then back to that support position. Notice that the shoulder tracks over the elbow. Okay, arms stay locked, but what's most important is, is he's actually literally almost tucking his tucking knees more aggressively up in your stomach. There, okay, and come on back down. He's loading up by tucking his knees up and staying hollow and in that ball up and right back up to, into that support position. All right, so we can do set to five here. You can do wherever the limit of your strength is, but again, with these gymnastics movements, you won't only want to work and go as far as your body will allow and the movement doesn't break down, meaning you're not breaking at the elbow and we're not losing, losing our midline or our hollow, exactly. Um, so we've got the, we've got the parallel tuck-ups. You know, the more aggressive movement would now would just be a hold, right? And again, it's, it's quick to note that you're gonna fall up and keep the head in the cue and hold, and hold this position, all right? 
What do we often see here? We see this. Coach, is this right? Oh, God. Do I have it yet? No. So we really want to talk about... totally lose the strength as soon as you do that. Well, you see, yeah, you see the function and the system break down. And that's, that's really what we're talking about here is, is how, do, how, do we, how do we continually load good positions so that it has transferring capabilities to, to swing movements and more dynamic movements on the parallel bars. Um, so there you go. We've got two movements here. We're starting to understand what we're doing here. Shoulder loads forward. We're cueing that hollow position. The last thing that we have up here is this parallel shootout. Super important is set up here, okay? So obviously we're using the... We're using a bench because that's working well with, with Dave's framework. But he's going to tuck up and then shoot and then load. Okay. Do me a favor. Tuck up, shoot, hit it. Hit that hollow position. Walk your feet out into a straddle. So there you go, a little wider. Obviously going to a straddle decreases the amount of load and pressure put on the shoulder girdle. And he can still continue to hollow and hit that position. Okay. Notice that the system's in line. We got spine, continuity. We've got shoulder over, over wrist, and his butt's on again. Okay, so, you know, starting to, to drill and play with plant strength is understanding the top position of this thing. If we don't understand how to cue and stay tight, we're nowhere. Deactivate for me in that top position and arch out. Never going to hold it. Okay? Never, ever going to finish there. Finish, cue up, hollow out, squeeze your butt, lock it down, boom, and do a push-up. And we can finish at the top, right? So in a sense, when we do push-ups, if we can finish in this hollow position, we're getting ready for, for more skill work. We're getting ready for the parallax. Some prereq strength, strength drills that you can start to do to not only understand plant's position, but to develop that strength so that hopefully one day we're going to be able to hold that position or really, really develop that strength in that frontal plane is some strength, strength drills here. And we showed you the parallax holds and the drills on the box. Another way we can skin this cat is by using dumbbells, okay? And I just want to say right away, if you break down at your elbow, if, you, if you're losing good body position, A, there's too much weight, or you don't understand what you're doing. So make sure you start with lightweight, right? So we're gonna, I'm gonna get some real lightweights for Dave. All right, so we've, we've, got, we've got, he's laying on his back on a bench, okay? We see this all the time. He's gonna get tight, but maybe not quite in the optimal hollow position. So now he's gonna flatten out the back, boom, re -cue that hollow position, and now begin to load up the shoulder as well, mimicking that, that planche position, okay? And just doing lower downs, okay? And this, right here, mimics exactly what we've got when we're loading up in a support position on the parallax. We've got thumb around dumbbells, keep, keep cueing, Right? Again, no better than the elbows. No better than the elbows. Good job. No better at all. All the while, it's actually really, really helping him look at his toes a little bit to re cue and stay tight. Right? Neck hold. There it is. If you're having a hard time because the load of the, the dumbbells is not allowing you to stay tight in a hollow position, all we do is we suck it in, right? We're going to mimic that tuck position on the parallel bars by looking at the knees, cueing the abs and then staying tight. Make sense? So when you go to the rings, <laughs> you're now on a dynamic plane, and you really, really, and like Dave was just touching on this. When I was a little kid, I lived on the parallettes or the parallel bars. And, it, and I envision when I get up on the rings that I stabilize the rings into parallel bars and push down and cue that hollow position before I get up there. There. Yes. There it is.